Yesterday, on October 2nd, 2020, Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont, committed a sin. And we're gonna read the tweet that was so sinful and so evil that it's earned him repudiation from even progressives. Jane and I wish the president and first lady a full and speedy recovery. The COVID-19 virus is real. It is dangerous and can affect anybody. As a nation, we must do all we can to fight this virus and protect the American people. Now, after reading that sinful tweet, I'm sure you know exactly what his crime was. He, met, he had the audacity to wish the U.S. president a speedy recovery. So let's look at some of these responses. These people are calling him out correctly for, for daring to, as a U.S. senator, wish the U.S. president a, a speedy recovery from a deadly disease. The first tweet I see says, you can take the high road, but this M fur had it coming. Love you, Bernie. And then someone else says, Bernard's fans are actually angry. He is not rooting for the president to die. He's making his point. COVID will infect you if you're not careful, no matter how many times you call it fake or a hoax or a pandemic. Someone else says, Bernie's biting his tongue so hard right now. Someone else says, sir, you don't have to do this. Should have ended with psych. Senator, may I remind you that Trump is intentionally responsible for 200,000 deaths, nearly half a million dead by January, plus all those stolen refugee kids. One does not wish people guilty of atrocities a full and speedy recovery, for they will continue once recovered. So because he feels that this person, Trump, committed something wrong in being responsible for these 200,000 people dying, which is debatable in my opinion, but whatever, uh, we should hope or otherwise not wish that this person becomes well. Because we all know two wrongs make a right. <laughs> Someone says, pretty disgusting seeing all the comments urging Bernie to stoop down to Trump's level. Bernie has dignity. He is acting as a human being. Come on, people, let's be better. Trump is either a dangerous threat or someone who should get well soon. Both can't be true at once. The neolibs are making you start contradicting yourself like they do. Having to do narratives and reality at the same time ruins your credibility. Don't become what you fight. So because you think someone as an elected official is dangerous in terms of what they want to do, uh, you know, regarding their positions and policies or whatever, that means that you should not want that person to not die. <laughs> according to our buddy Mikey here. But see, this goes back to what I was saying about how there is a contingent of people who take politics much more seriously than me. See, there are a lot of politicians I don't like, whether it's Trump, Obama, the, the younger Bush, Clinton, uh, Hillary. You know, we can be here all day, but I've never once sat down with any of those people and hoped that they would die. Because I know the things that they did or do, in the case of the ones that are still in office, are not going to be erased in the event that something happens to them. And again, I just I'm I'm not I'm not morally uh on the level of just wanting bad things to happen to people, you know, that I've never met or have done something to me. Um so, you know, I it's a sad day when a website like Twitter can make a person like me, who I don't even consider myself like some morally great individual, but they, they make me seem like an angel. You've got me over here wishing a president that I didn't vote for and never would recovers. And then you have these clowns getting mad because a U.S. senator wished the U.S. president a speedy recovery. <laughs> Twilight Zone.